Time's up. And it is actually 32%. That's quite high, Jerry. And most of y'all did get this one, right? So congrats. So let's see if we manage to change the top five. Oh, wow. Okay, so Kylin just showed up at the top. And we have May, Daman, Kamaru Zaman, and Piggy Love to Eat. Okay, I, I, that's an interesting name. Lah. Okay, who are all these five uh, winners? Can you all maybe stand up? Okay, if you don't stand up, you don't get your voucher, you know. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. All five of you, congrats. All right, let's give them a round of applause. So our ushers, stay, stay standing, because our ushers are going to go and pass you this voucher right now where you can redeem your prize at the registration counters at the end of the event. Okay, congrats. So guys, we hope this quiz has got you to start thinking about what you want to look out for when it comes to choosing or building your career. Don't worry, there was no correct or wrong answer, you know, but at least, um, you know, since you all didn't take part in the survey, at least hopefully it got you thinking, okay? But if it hasn't, fret not, because today will be the time for you to find out more about the different industries and figure out what is best for you. So now it's time for our breakout sessions where you'll go, we'll go into a deep dive into industries where you have chosen and this is where our experts will share their experiences and if you have any burning questions for them, uh, you can feel free to ask during the Q&A session. <coughs> so you guys should have badges with you right now so you can just take a look at them and they should be telling you where to go so there's a session, your badge should look something like this. So um, there'll be a breakout session one, um, which is the first session that on the left that you will be attending at 10.30 a.m. Okay, so really much later than 10.30 a.m. right now. So I think, uh, so five minutes later. Um, so that's the one where you'll go uh, first. And then on the right, it'll be the second session at the, um, which will start at 11.15 a.m. Yes. So this is the full list of session, sessions available and its location. Um, there'll be ushers to direct you to the respective rooms if you go outside and you're a bit lost, okay? So, yes, um, if you chose me for the first session, you stay in here because I'm staying here. And then um, you can go to uh, the basement one seminar rooms three and four uh, with Cheryl. And then you can go to uh, uh, level five uh, shop back. Uh, uh, for Shopback and also level 5 for Bridging Minds Network. So these are all uh, the different locations. So just take note and, and see who you're, you're uh, talking to. Um, for Shopback, it will be for Fern, it'll be with Fern and for uh, Bridging Minds, it will be with Mr. Stanley. So, okay, uh, we can get started and get moving already and I'll see you all back in the auditorium later at 12 noon. Uh, for a roundup session, okay, after your two breakout sessions. Yes, so for those of you who are attending my session, please come forward and fill the front seats, okay, because uh, we don't have all these awkward gaps. So everyone, yes, please get up and let's move to our respective rooms. Follow your badges, whatever, and I'll see you all later. Enjoy your session. So personally, actually, I hold quite a few roles. Um, my very first job and my interest, actually, as a kid, was to be an artist. Um, I at three, I love to perform, and at twelve, I I fell in love with Britney Spears, and I and I believe and I thought I told my parents that I just wanted to be a singer and a performer, and I held on to that dream for a really really long time. Um, so until I was, so what happened was how I mean how I got in is actually because at uh, 18 years old, I, I signed up to New York Broadway Dance Centre without my parents knowing and I believe that you know, that's what I'll do, I don't, I don't want to study anymore, I don't want to go to the university, I, I know so well what I want to do. I said, why do I need to study? I'm just going to be a singer, you know, and I'm going to make it and uh, my mom actually applied for the university for me in NUS and I got really angry that she applied for me because I said, no, that's not what I want. And, you know, being an artist 18, at 18 years old, that's like my peak and my prime. And she said, um, 
uh, no, no matter what, my expectation for you uh, as a daughter is you know, to finish up because a university degree is really, or at least a, a tertiary education degree, it's really the training of the mind. So I, I went into NUS psychology and in my, uh, my third year, I actually joined the missing for this pageant. Reason because I wanted, it was a door for me to enter into the entertainment world. But um, having said that, I mean, I, I managed to go on to that career. Uh, that is a one later. Um, what happened is I had to find a, a part-time job. So that's where I started um, you know, actually working full-time in, in our company, the GD Group. So GD Group, we are now uh, 40 years old this year. Okay, uh, we started like I want to be. The things that you do, the decisions you make, the, quality, the products you do, it will all have your stamp on it. And that is the soul. You don't do it just because, of course money is important, but you don't do it just because of money. You do it because you truly believe in something. So I truly believe that people can do sweet healthily. And so, um, like I say, okay, okay, I won't go exactly into it, but um, for example, ever since, so the system I came up with and the things I believe in, the products that I do, Ever since I had my first kid until now, that was really my heaviest weight because I put on like about 15 kilos, right? And I had to really lose the weight. I never ever was, I mean, I was plump as a kid, I was never like you know, 15 kilos overweight. But because of the system I believe in and because of the business that I'm doing, I decided to use myself as a guinea pig. And I was happy to do so because I was making sure whatever I'm going to put into my body is safe enough and it's going to be safe enough to put in other people's body. So I never went on a crash diet ever again. And ever since then, I think the biggest purpose, the biggest purpose is really I wanted to inspire others to find the best version of themselves. And that gave me the mission of my company.